Okay, back on the ore boat. Now I've got to glue all the foam pieces. There's a few I've got to join up, so I've got to join that for the base and the walls, which I'll show you as I go along. But what I'm actually using is Gorilla Glue. On one edge, then on the other edge, I'll be spraying water. And then I just stick them together. And when I put the Gorilla Glue on, I always brush it on. So I brush one side and wet the other. Side, I will spray water on it. And then place it together. And then I'll put a weight on it just to hold it in place and I'll let that one dry first. Also I've already put my glue on the end so this piece is, will be warded and put on top of the glue. And this one will be overhanging because I've got to trim it. Just like so. Okay, I've just done one side, as you can see. Okay, all the glue's now hardened up. See the Gorilla Glue's sort of seeped out, which is alright. i just got to cut that out. And a couple of gaps from the join, which will eventually be putty. So my next job is now to trim the front and back. So that is my template. So I'll put both templates on and I'll trim it. And we'll, shoot, and we'll see what she looks like. Okay, the next part is now I've got the two templates on top as you can see. And all I've got to do it on this boat is cut here, right around, back to here. Because I've got it all opened up, I don't need to cut this one. But when I do my other boat, I will have to cut the whole lot. But in this case, I've only got to do the two ends. So let's see if we can cut it. And I'm using obviously a hot wire cutter. Now she's on. And I just run it along the wood.
Now, obviously, my glue is stopping me from cutting it. And I guess. Right, here we go. bring this out because I can't see As you can see just needs a bit of sanding and then should be right but I will flip this over so I can see I'll now finish the rest And now I have the round shape. Switch it on. And I'll take it out. And I'll just do this little bit at the back. And there you have it. So I'll take the templates off and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, that's the back. Or well, to the boat people, that's the stern. I've just got to give it a bit of a sandpaper. And the front. Well,
and don't forget I've still got to place my top on so in reality that's what it's going to look like so now I'm just going to clean it up which I won't show you I'm just using a light sandpaper job and I'll show you what it looks like after the sanding and also I've already cut me anchor holes I'll show you how I did that on the next boat okay the next part on the oil boat I've got to cut the hatches out and as you can see I've got 14 hatches to cut now I'm just going to use a jigsaw so I'll go ahead and just cut it so once that's done I can put the top on now I also put a bottom template on the same with that MDF it's about three mil thick so that's already on so I'll show you so that's already on so I'll go cut these hatches I'll show you what it looks like when I cut them. Okay, I've already cut out the rectangle holes for the hatches. So now what I've got to do is I'm actually going to paint the inside a grey colour. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, I've already painted the inside a grey colour. It's just to take the, the look of the foam on. And with the top on. Okay, my next job is I'm going to do a, an anchor hole at the back of the ball boat. So what I've got to do is actually cut this timber and then I can cut into the foam to do the anchor hole. So I'll go ahead and cut it and show you. Okay, the way I'm going to do the anchor hole is when John done his boats, he done a like a cardboard cutting with a hole, and he just puts it over like so, and then I get the hot knife cutter and just go from one end to the other end to give me the angle. So I'll see if I can do it on camera for you. So here we go. And there's an anchor hole. And just another look at the uh, anchor hole at the back. That's what she looks like. 
Okay, the next job I'm going to do is put me walls up for me hatches. Now I'm using two and a half millimeter balsa wood. I was going to angle cut them, but I'm not going to angle cut them because by the time I paint them, you're not going to see them. So I'm going to cut, cut them square and I'll do each one. And the way I'm cutting the uh, balsa wood is with my chopper. Now I've just got it braced so I get the same distance. And I just chop away. So I'll go ahead and cut them all and show the next step. Okay, the way I'm going to glue these, I've just got a ruler for me, me straight edge, so, so it's all going to be straight. All I'm going to do is use PVA glue. and then place it down roughly first And then I just line it all up. And then I'll just clean the excess glue off. Okay, all the walls are up now. All the way down there. Okay, I've now glued the top of the masonite on the top of the bone or on the top of the boat so that's what she's looking like also at the back of the boat you'll see I've got a door now when I've been looking at pictures on the oar boat there's actually a door on either end of the oil bag. So I just use some old doors from an old um, building kit. So that's what she's looking like now. So just a tiny bit of sanding and then I can paint. Another view from the front. And 
and also one of my hatches, which is this one, because it's on, on the solid foam, I'm actually going to put um, iron ore on top just to make it look like it's full of iron. And anyway, that's what she's looking like. And also, I think I'll make this one a wrap on this stage because I've still got to clean it, paint it, and I don't want to make it go too long. So I'll put this one up and we'll have another part. And then you'll see it all painted up. Another look on the door.